Today I wanted to talk about fuses. Sometimes there's a question about checking your fuses. Most people what they do is they go to the system, they turn power off, and then they pull the fuses out. Once they pull the fuses out, then they go ahead and ohm the fuses out. Ohm, put an ohmmeter to them or a continuity tester. And that works okay, that's fine. But I want to show you another way of doing it. Now, if we take a look at this drawing, we see that we have power coming in up here represented with blue. We have the red coming in on this side. We see that we have a fuse on here and we have a fuse over there. We have the load over on this side. Now, power's coming in. You see the red comes through here, the blue comes and they meet at the load. So this load is working. This, whatever this component is, it's doing what it's supposed to be doing. But what happens is if something goes wrong, then that fuse, let's say that fuse there is going to open up. Once that fuse opens, power cannot get through anymore. So what tends to happen is we're going to have the red coming in through here and it's going to go through the load. As it goes through the load, it's going to come up to that fuse. And as you can tell, you see that the top is blue, the bottom is red. Because of that, now we have two different legs or two different electrical lines going to it, or you could say two different potentials. You can see that we have the blue coming in, the red coming in, so we have two different potentials. Because of that, when we check voltage, what are we going to read? Well, we're going to read 220 volts because we have 110 on top, 110 on the bottom. The potential difference is going to be 220. If we look at this fuse and if we were to check the voltage across there, because it is all red, what would we get? We would get zero volts because it is the same. That's why I used the red and the blue to show you that the potential is the same on this side. So regardless of where you put the meter, if it's all the same color, is the same potential, and you're gonna get zero. So for example, if we look at the load, on the load, if we were to put the meter across the load, because it is all red, what would we get? We would also get zero. At that fuse, we have the blue and we have the red, 110 on top, 110 on the bottom, so we end up with 220 volts. Now, I'm showing you the circuit. This is a single phase, a single phase system. If it was a three phase system, guess what? It would work the same way. You would put your voltmeter across a fuse, another fuse, and another fuse. The fuse that shows you voltage, that's the fuse that's bad. That is the fuse that's bad. So let's say you have L1, L2, and L3. Check here, zero volts. Check here, let's say 220 volts. Check here, and you get zero volts. It's gonna be that middle fuse that's gonna be blown. Because of that, that motor, just like we talked on a video about the single facing motors, this three phase motor now is gonna single phase because we lost a leg. But that is another way of checking your fuses to see if your fuse is good or is bad. After you've done this, I would still turn power off, pull that one fuse out and double check it to make sure that it is open. You would use either your ohms or your continuity tester. And your ohms, you would get OL. You should get zero, but you would get OL if it's open. OL stands for open lead or open line depending on who you're talking to. If you're using your continuity tester, when you touch your continuity tester across your meter, you're not gonna get a signal. Usually when you touch the leads, when it's set to continuity, you're gonna get a beeping. But because it's open on the inside, you're not gonna get a sound. So I wanted to explain this to you, another way of checking fuses. And like I said, as I hope this helps, uh, my name is Julio for Aircon Academy. Uh, go ahead and if you would, go to Facebook, follow me on Facebook, and subscribe to my channel on YouTube. If you have any suggestions, as always, as to what videos to make, please just send me a message and I will see what I can do about getting them on. Alright, thank you.